Hey, what is up you guys? Today a little update on the Darwin X0 account and actually things are going really well. I had a few little problems this month as well. Maybe it was on my end, but I couldn't log into the actual Darwin X account. So there was like two weeks of pretty bad drawdown because I couldn't close out the trades that the bot made and the bot didn't make any new trades. But somehow I have still reached the guaranteed ratio, which is a 75. I'm currently at 76, so pretty cool. I'll get another 30K and um, I haven't actually updated you guys, but I also already have 30K. So this 30K is for three months. So the next one that will come on top is another 30K probably, which is gonna make it into 60K. So if next month is the same, I'll have like 90K in essence under management. And then the first one that I got, so that was allocation for three months, that first one will expire, but then I'll get another one. So if I'll get the guaranteed funding all the time, I'll pretty much have like 90K all the time in assets under management. So if we go here to payments and we go to allocations, then we can see that on that 30K account, I made 557 and with a 15% performance fee or the payout, it's gonna become 83 euros and 56 cents. And that's pretty okay. And if I have that 90K under management, then maybe it's gonna become more in the future. If I move on to gold, it's gonna become more maybe as well. Now, another thing that I didn't realize in the beginning was that they pay not monthly, but quarterly. So every quarter you'll get uh, paid from all of the allocation that you made uh, during the quarter period. So the quarter ends for me on the 1st of August. So I'll actually get paid from all the uh, performance fees. So that's kind of like a thing that the payment does take a while before you actually receive anything but um, it is what it is, you know? So it's definitely like way different than I thought it was and that's why I kind of made that video where I was kind of like iffy about it because I didn't understand uh, what this risk here was. So my risk ratio is 0 0.14, which uh, basically means that I was risking maybe too many contracts and too much drawdown and stuff like that. So I got a pretty bad uh, risk ratio, but in a way, it's okay as well because the bot it might be in drawdown a lot and uh, it might put quite a lot of lots in as well so it is what it is it's not gonna be a lot of money but it's still like a nice little extra thing each uh, quarter I guess that I'll be receiving and, and I'm pretty happy about it so I'm literally doing nothing like I said I'm just letting the bot run and this month was not the best because the bot was not running half the time. So I don't even know how I'm receiving the current rating that is so high because last month I had to make 4% to get that 75 uh, rating. But this month I've only gotten like less than 2% and I've already reached that rating. So I don't know if it stacks up over time because now it's been two months and, and I guess maybe this return in the last six months matters so if this becomes higher all the time it might be easier in the future maybe to get that uh, rating higher so that's pretty cool as far as participating in gold i do have to get 20 percent so i'm almost at seven percent and if i do get that 20 percent i'll move on to gold and the return to drawdown ratio that's almost already there it's at a 2.1 and has to be 2.5 so it has to be 2.5 times more than my max drawdown. So it's almost there already. All I need to do is, you know, just get that 20% and then uh, I can participate in gold as well. So that's pretty cool. And with gold, the cool thing is you'll get the allocation for six months. So then it really starts to stack up. So let's say one month you get like 50K allocation and the next month as well and the next month as well, it really starts to build up and maybe then you can make quite a really substantial amount of money with this so it's definitely different than I thought in the beginning but I think if you stay with it long term it's it's a long term game and I think maybe if if it does stack up on top of each other like the six month uh, return thing if that does stack up and that does play into the rating as well I think actually it can be really really good in the future if I can get like 200k funding and even you know a couple percent each month from 200k that would be pretty nice 
it's still gonna be like a 15% payout, but it is pretty nice. It's, it could be like a, you know, a nice 500, 600, maybe even a thousand a month, and then get paid quarterly like 4K, maybe 3K uh, every quarter. That's gonna be pretty nice because it is a really small investment. So in the long term, it might actually pay off pretty well. So I'm curious to see, I'll keep you guys updated of course. Now, if you do want the more traditional ProFirm, then check out ProFirm Match. ProFirm Match is basically a comparison site where you can compare all the ProFirms right now at the moment. They do have Darwin X0 on there as well. And you can easily filter by price, by account size. Even in the advanced settings, you can uh, really look at what kind of broker you want, what kind of platform you want to trade on, what country you're from, for example, because a lot of ProFirms don't allow you as clients, for example. And you can really go in depth in what you want and ProFirm Match will help you pick Pick out the right ones ones that aren't paying people out or have some other scandals they delist them pretty quickly so anyways check out proper match in the description below use my affiliate link because with my affiliate link you can actually get more loyalty points which can result in a free challenge as well so check it out in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video